Hey all, um, probably one of the biggest, thank you everyone for watching the webinar, one of the biggest requests I'm getting via email is my middle mouse button pop-up menu um, and how I made that. Um, one of the biggest questions is how come when you make it the flyouts don't work? The reason for that is the way that Rhino uses toolbars. Um, you can't make a, your own toolbar outside of the T-Splines toolbar set and still have flyouts that work. It needs to be internal for some other reason. So I'm going to show you how I did it because simply giving you my toolbar is pointless. You would use different tools to me because you might design differently to me. So what's important to have on my toolbar might not be important for you. Okay, so to get going, pull up the toolbar editor. Um, as you can tell, I've played around a lot with mine. My existing one is saved as T-Splines converted to. I'm going to make another one, so I'm going to go file and file and open. So where are we? Oh, where are we? Where is the first thing you have to do is find out where the T-Splines toolbar is. Program data, T-Splines Rhino. No. C program data, T-Splines toolbar. So, go to your my computer, and we want to go to C program data. T splines, Rhino, T splines. So T splines. Where are we? T splines, Rhino. Okay, so I've got a, a copy in here already of mine, um, T-Splines Toolbar. So I'm going to copy this. And I'm going to make a... I've, I happen to I have mine in my documents at the moment, so I make a copy of this and go to my documents. And I think mine is over here, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to paste this in here and rename it again. I'm going to call this... Um, I'm going to rename that to... T-Spline Custom Okay, and then get out of here and then what we're going to do is we're going to open that guy File, Open In my documents uh, Where are my documents? A far out bloody windows uh, Documents, documents, documents Documents And we're looking for this one we just made now so with this one I'm going to open everything all right and close that and what we're going to do is we're going to find the one you use the most now what I find I use the most was the manipulate one because the manipulators and the selection tools are the guys that you tend to need the most while you're working so I'm going to customize the manipulate menu and drag in the things that I need uh, so one of the things I need first of all is obviously the create menu would be nice so just hover your mouse over it if you press the control key you can copy if you press the shift key you can move it doesn't matter whether you copy or move you, you're not damaging the original thing I'm gonna go copy for fun so holding down the control key click and drag modify and drop it in here all right I'm going to shift to move that to that side of it all right uh, we also want the create menu I'm going to copy that into there and we also want, do we want the utility menu, what's in there, I suppose you, I suppose you do want it. Um, so this would be the simplest way to create your custom toolbar. What I, what I do is I add in here the things that I use the most, stuff like um, say symmetry or extrude, like I, I use extrude on its own. This is also extrude, so you can click extrude from here or press and hold will make a fly out. I don't know. It it's going to largely depend on what it is you need the most. So you could, if you use TS Pipe a lot, for example, just pop in here, Control, pop TS Pipe in there. All right. um, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to close down the rest of these guys. Just to make the screen easier to read. Um, and then all you need to do, you can right click here, you can go to the properties for this one and you can call it uh, TS pop up or whatever it is you want to call it okay TS pop up now to 
get this to pop up every single time you click your middle mouse button in the case that I do go to your options type in options or go to tools and options and what you're looking for is in your mouse section you want to pop up this toolbar in my case I've got it in T splines in there you'd be looking for TS custom TS pop-up so if you click that and go OK what will happen from now on see middle mouse button middle mouse button middle mouse button so these guys work and the flyouts actually work if you create your own toolbar outside of the T-splines toolbar and drag those flyouts to them they simply won't work because then they need to be linked inside of the existing toolbar so I hope this helps cheers Chris out